Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Minecraft. This is actually just going to be a quick update video of things going on this weekend. Unfortunately, I was able to make a video for a new game I was very excited to show you, but um, I asked them if that was something that could be posted right away, and it turns out they were hoping people would wait. So while it would be okay for me to post it, uh, I just thought we would stick with what they were hoping would happen and that would be releasing the video when their game comes out next week on the 21st so this that's gonna be when that video comes out unfortunately it was the only video I was gonna be able to get up this weekend and uh, I'm making this for you right now Saturday morning before I have people coming over I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible I thought I would just kind of show off some of the things that we've been doing here on our server I've got this little entry gate here kind of made like a tree essentially and uh, I'll probably block this off with a door. Now Kenneth and I have come over here and set up this base here. This is kind of what we're calling the lodge. We've got a bridge that goes across here. And we did it right in front of one of these big guys there. In fact, because of that, um, we did the whole window set up inside so you could kind of see up and through to the tree as you walk into this place. And we have some really cool things around here from Botania. Kenneth sent up this little altar. Uh, so we've got some of those exact trees, their saplings kind of dancing around here, which is pretty cool. We have glass looking down into the basement, which is pretty much where everything happens. This lodge itself, uh, we haven't set up any stairs in here yet. I'm going to go ahead and fly up here. We do have infused armor, which is allowing me to fly. That took a lot of work for us to get. <laughs> we together a whole lot of things. Most of that work was stuff Kenneth did, though. So I had, I had the, uh, easy, the easy stuff to do, which was gathering some things. So anyway, there we go. That's kind of the look at the upper floor of what is the lodge that kind of jumps right up to the edge of the tree here. Now, I did go and fence off an area. I've got torches all around. This whole area is actually filled in and lit. And this was all open. There weren't trees here anyway. That's why I thought this was kind of a, a cool spot. As you can see, my, uh, <laughs> my waypoint is indicating. I thought, you know what? We might go move our whole operation over here. So there you go. Let's go inside. I'm going to take you down to the basement and show you what we've got going on down there. Okay, I slept really quick. I still have my sleeping bag in hand. And I actually wanted to show you this before we go down into the basement. I've got the wind turbines here somewhere, right? <laughs> Where are they? I basically stuck them underground. And you can see them kind of turning there. They only need the one block above them uh, visible to the sky straight above. Uh, for example, this was the outermost edge I could put them. If I put them one block in, they fell just under the tree up there. So I had to kind of put them out here. I didn't like that they stood up and blocked everything, so I put them underground, and this works. And down below, the cabling goes in and to the basement level. So let's go ahead and jump down there really quick. We've got stairs here and stairs on the other side. And we have a whole lot of stuff going on down here. <laughs> There's the other stairs. So right off the bat, we have the fossils and archaeology, all of this stuff set up here. This is for uh, making dinosaurs and everything. We've got a lot of those parts in here. We kind of keep moving them into this area. Over here, we've got um, a lot of the things that we need to make processors and things like that for um, applied energetics so that we could have the uh, computer system set up for storage. So that's where that all is, including this pool over here where we can throw grow crystals in there for some of the stuff we need. I have wiring that actually goes down here underneath the stairs and pops over to the smeltery so we can access the terminal. I'll show you that in a minute. And this is kind of where we have some storage that goes right into our applied energetic system, including an ender chest. So I do have the uh, ender pouch or the bag or whatever it was called, <laughs> which I can actually right click here, throw stuff in, it will go into the ender chest, and then it is pulled into our system, into the uh, the server essentially. So here's our drives. You can actually click this and see the different memory. We have 16K, some 1Ks and 4Ks. That gives us the, uh, the memory to store um, all of our stuff. So we have typical crafting tables here. We have the controller for applied energetics that lets you have eight uh, networks or eight channels they call them on each side of the block so one of those comes over here to this cube which is the crafting storage so we can use this when you're doing kind of the automated crafting in the system which we haven't done a whole lot with yet but um, we do have that set up so let me go over here we do have the uh, smell tree don't have anything in there right now Oh, we do have a little bit of gold in there um, 
so we can pour all that stuff out. But we've got the terminal here, so we can actually right click this. If you're not familiar with applied energetics, basically it allows you to pour everything into one system. So you can see that we have all of this stuff here, and then we can actually just type in iron, and it's showing you everything that we have in our storage that has that word in it. So it makes it very easy to gather what you need. It also has the crafting table built into it, and uh, when you're done, you can hit X, and that will throw it back into the system. So that makes things a lot easier. Now we do have a couple other things here just for looks. We haven't really got a whole lot into deco craft, but we do have a chandelier here. Um, I think this is from Bibliocraft. It says we've got the uh, clock. I made this for fun. And we have a lot of decorative blocks back here from, was it Applied? Yeah, Applied Energetics. Wait, no, that was that guy. Chisel too, right. They have, they have a couple of these blocks, which were kind of fun. I like the idea that these are actually the roots of the redwood tree above that we have the building kind of bumping up against. And I thought it was kind of cool, the idea of, you know, you go down to the roots of the tree and that's where this kind of quote unquote like magic happens, right? To power all of our stuff. So that's why I put the channel or the uh, controller here and then did the decorative blocks. The lines moving along, the wavy lines, if you're not familiar, that's just a decorative block behind the um, glass cable that actually is used to connect our devices. So I just thought that would look kind of cool. Now those actually wrap around um, behind the wall. They come down. That's where we get these popping out here. And behind this wall here is where the uh, wind turbines are. So their power kind of pops in here. In fact, you can see it behind this guy here. And that's where that's coming in. I think we have another one that comes in over here somewhere. Oh wait, maybe it's not needed over there. I think the two connect, that's what it is, and then they come to here. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually popping a hole over here, making a room, and bringing power over to it, because we have a portal that takes you to what we just kind of called Jurassic Park <laughs> for the dinosaur stuff. Now the dinosaurs started to get a little too big, so we needed to be moving some of them. So what, I, what I'll do is, I think I'll just jump you over to that right now, and uh, we'll take a peek. Actually, I spotted this before I left, and I thought I would show you this really quick. We actually have a rail system that we're working on right now, and so I've kind of brought our end of it into here. If we actually come out here, you can see that it comes down along the ravine. So this ravine actually goes right out in the front of the lodge, but the rail system is actually going to come in from this side, drop down into here, and then go into directly into our basement. But uh, what it does is it flies over. You can see we've got the line out here with none of the rails. There's a line that goes from all the way over there, cuts across to uh, another guy's place, and uh, Essen Wolf's base over there. And they actually have the rails set up for that. Um, we don't have the rails put down yet, but you can see last night that spider monkey was out here building a station. So basically this is this goes out to his place. And when you get here, you could decide to go to Essenwolf's place or over to ours. So this is the train station here and he got a little extravagant with it <laughs> with the obsidian and marble floors. Kind of crazy to look at, but that's cool. So anyway, if I actually bring up the map, you can see here is that junction. This goes north to our base. Uh, it goes west out to Essenwolf's base out here, and then all the way over here we have Spider Monkey's base. So that's how we're all connected right now. Pretty cool little setup. Okay, so here we are at Jurassic Park. You can actually see the waypoint marker there. We have this powered portal system. It's kind of a two-way thing, except we tore the other one down when we moved to make our lodge and I haven't set it back up. Uh, on the other side of this is a wind turbine powering this. So anyway, you would kind of walk in here, and we've got this uh, kind of a protective room here. I put some signs up to say, Welcome Jurassic Park. Please respect the environment and the creatures. Refrain from destroying or killing either one. So basically, we don't want to tear any trees down or really do anything to impact the environment or anything here, just for fun. Um, I did add a bridge over there, and we have a bridge here to kind of close in a large creature that we brought over here. Although at a glance, I'm not seeing him. So maybe something happened to him. Let's see. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there you go. You can see he's pretty big. So we brought him out here. We brought a couple other guys out here too. It looks like um, it looks like Essen Wolf brought some of these guys out here. The Nautilus. He had a number of those. So I'm assuming he brought those. Whoa. <laughs> So we have a couple other things. I did have a Velociraptor out here, but I actually came out here, was attacked by a zombie, and the Velociraptor uh, tried to help, and 
yeah, the zombie turning killed him in one shot. So <laughs> we're still uh, we're still working on this. We're trying to bring some things out here. Uh, Spider Monkey actually has some pretty large dinosaurs in his base. Maybe he'll move him out here. I'm not sure. But uh, this this was kind of a cool environment. Uh, I thought this was a great biome for it. Uh, jungle would have been nice, but as weird as it seems, we have explored a lot of map and found no jungle yet. So I thought this was a uh, nice compromise. Okay, welcome to Spider Monkey's Domain. So he wanted to get set up a bar. I kind of get a bar going on here. Oh nice, he's got some cookies. I haven't been over here in a bit. So, very cool. He's got this going on. He does still have the basement right here. Let's see what he's been doing down here. He's got all the stuff for the dinosaurs here is where he does that work. Got some stuff back there. He has the clone of himself. <laughs> this is something you can do with the um, fossils and archaeology thing. I believe that's how he did that. As you can clone DNA and everything, I guess you can, uh, there's a way to clone yourself. So anyway, that's what he looks like. It's his mini-me, which he has imprisoned, which is pretty sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. It looks like he's got all kinds of chests here. I think these are maybe connected into some system he set up. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's got some things going on in here. A lot of the stuff I'm not very familiar with. He's got the, the applied energetics, like the drive bay and everything. Looks like there's nothing in it yet, though. So he may still be working on that. Um, so that's a quick look at his basement. Let's run back out here. He's got all the shelves up here. That's cool. We're going to go outside really quick. Take a peek at his dinosaurs. You can see their heads right there. Let's go ahead and close his doors. <laughs> Let's just fly out here really quick. So these actual these blocks here were the points uh, indicating where he had the quarry set up. So that has dug down there and then he moved it over and it's a bit larger now so you can see that goes down there pretty far I've been making a quarry out of that so anyway you've got these guys here very very large the uh, brachiosaurus looks like and then we've got a smaller one there let's take a look at this guy Woo! <laughs> and then there's a sheep in here randomly so anyway he's got a pretty cool setup here and S uh, Essenwolf has the uh, hops going on as well, although I don't think he built them this tall. Do like how these look. Essenwolf was telling me, I love how those look. They look really cool. And uh, yeah, they do. They do look very cool. So over here at Essenwolf's place, he wanted to take a redwood and make his base inside of it. Now, ours is not too far from here. It's a bit to the northeast. You can see the cool spot indicator. And you don't have to go very far before you can actually see our tree pop in. So. Anyway, we can come over here. He has the secret door that kind of pops into here. And let me close it on the right side. <laughs> He's got the fountain, and then he has the stairs going up. So if we look, you can see he has spiraled those there. In fact, uh, with our armor, we can just kind of fly up here. Now, his plan was to get all the way up here and then make, a, uh, make the base kind of up here, level it out, do some floors and everything, but... There you go. Looks like he's got a little bit of that going on. I wasn't sure if he'd actually got this started yet. So there you go. This is coming along nice. One of the uh, benefits of our armor is we can fall and not take damage. So we can just drop right down here. And so you can see the rail system. is. It, he basically has it coming right here. Right up to his front area. He's got some chests out here and bridge going across. So you can see he's got the hops going on and some farms out there. Including a sprinkler system which you can kind of catch a glimpse of through the trees there. Here's out here, there you go. He's got that going on. Got a lot of stuff going on out here actually. Very cool. Well, that should wrap it up for this video here. This quick update for you guys. I do want to thank you for stopping in and checking it out. Additionally, I do want to apologize for not having up the number of videos I usually have up the last couple weeks. It's been very busy. Normally, I like to shoot for two to three videos per weekend. It's been more like one or two. But um, I do plan on picking that up next week, starting on Thursday. Hope you guys stop in to check out the game that I have just played and recorded that we're going to hold off on posting as the developers would like to wait until the launch. So. Again, that'll be Thursday. I'll probably have a video Friday, Saturday, something like that. So we should be back to the normal schedule. I hope you guys check that out. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time.